Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam wa la ashraf al anbiya wa al mursaleen I greet you with Islamic greeting of peace Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to mankind, to all mankind Muslim and non-Muslim of course all can can watch this video Alhamdulillah bin imat al Islam or bin imat al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tomorrow they are going to be another Friday which we have Friday, Friday the 8th which we are going to pray of course pray the uh, Jama'a and our uh, pray the, uh, I, I say the khutbah here, inshallah, and, and the khutbah is about the Asma al Husna, the beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which I can personally can never get enough of it. However, however, it's a knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a knowing yourself and knowing the knowing the world. As as many times I I mentioned it is the honor to knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, my brothers and sisters. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala time to time show his signs to us that we know we know Almighty God ex exists as we lack enough to just say oh well, well, well we don't need perhaps perhaps many says we don't need we have we have a we have a social security we have that we have this we have this we have this we have the doctor we have all of them but what we need the Almighty God for and suddenly Almighty God shows shows his signs and of course one of the signs is the COVID-19, whole earth is being shut down. Nobody talking to each other. Nobody go near each other. All are distance because of fear of the death. And of course, many tell many tell me uh, as as I'm a um, uh, die of course a Muslim missionary and still I'm in the street every day to help because the many people. I know they need my help. Therefore, uh, we are there. We are there to guide them. We are there to say to them, and we are there to offer in the holy book and everything else if they need to. If they need to, uh, need to know. Therefore, they are asking me. Many are asking me. Many are asking what is happening. What is happening? What is this? And I say, this is the sign of God. And if you don't, and I tell them, if you don't see the sign of God in COVID-19, which is separate the man and the woman, separate the children and the father and the grandfather and the old, they are separating. If you don't sign the, sign the, uh, see the sign of God in this, we never see his sign again. Therefore, and of course, they are asking me, why? Why is happening? Why, why whole world? And of course, the answer, there are many answers, of course. One of the answers are, the God does not do it to you. They say, the God does to us. The God does to us, killing us, or that and that and that. And I said, the God is not, is not doing it to you. Your hand brought that forward to you. Your hand, it is a work of your hand. That means the people, bad people like me, Many people which do not go to follow, follow, follow the follow the saying of the God and advise the God like me. Bring these viruses, bring this disaster on upon us and upon everyone else. Therefore, believe in the God is important, my brothers. Believe in God is important, my sisters in humanity. And Many times, of course, we see we see the example example of these these signs in the holy book, all the, the Quran, the Old Testament, all, all New Testament, uh, Torah, and Zabur, and all um, the Psalm. We can see the sign which the God brought these the people brought it on, on, on themselves, and the God they asked the Almighty God, and the Almighty God took it away. Remember the Jonah. And a veil, Eunice, and a veil, which, of course, uh, what happened was, in general, he says, what happened was the Almighty God brought the punishment to them because of their hand, but they begged Almighty God, said, please take that punish away. And he did, he did. And the Almighty God did take it. And many things, many things, of course, you can see the Israelites, Israelite and Moses and the Pharaoh. 
It has been written, these are not a story, these are not man-made stories, the divine stories come from the Almighty God. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, if you can't go to the mosque, if you can't go to the, uh, to the synagogue, if you can't go to the, uh, to the churches and all, we can ask Almighty God to take this virus away. It seems it's not going to go away itself. It's changing itself. It's changing itself. They telling me they tell me that the moment in depth I've done the television or whatever they said it changed itself as soon as we know we got the vaccine, Pfizer or the whatever, it changes itself. What do you think of course the virus and I say, do you think the virus is it so clever itself? It's got a big brain, which they, which they completely overpowered the Oxford University or Oxford that and or, or many others? No, it's a little thing. The who Put that in here. A change in it. They know we have a vaccine. And of course, we call it the hand of Almighty God. Therefore, what we need to do, we need my brothers and sisters to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> to go to, you call it Elohim, no problem. You call it Adonai, no problem. You call it Yahweh. You call it Ali Law. It's all the same. The Almighty God, the Almighty God of universe, go to him and he will. The doors of mercy is open. He will take it away. You believe me, he will take it away. I know enough. Not enough, of course, about the Almighty God, which I know so, is so merciful. He called himself, call me Ar Rahman. The merciful, the most merciful. How could he not take it? Therefore, we have to admit and go there. And even the government, of course, we have to, again, I have to say, we have to go to follow the advice of the government. Boris Johnson and all. Stay distances, this is important because we are, we are, we are, stay distances, uh, put, put your mask on and washing the hand and all, all the things is important to keep it down, to keep the virus down. To slow it down, but it cannot get it, get it away. It's impossible to take it away. We can slow it down, which NS, NHS can, can cope with it. It's Almighty God, hand of God. What we need to do, my brothers and sisters, all go to the mosques. The mosques are open, even the government knows. Government knows they cannot do anything. Boris Johnson can, knows cannot do anything. I'm not political, I'm talking about, of course. Uh, he, we can't do anything. It is a hand of God, it is a sign of God. And he left all the, all the synagogues, all the, all the uh, churches, all the mosques open. The people go and pray to God and say, please, please, take this. We beg you, we are your servant, and take this virus away from us. <clears throat> therefore, therefore, my brothers and sisters, it's very important, very important to know about God, to know His names. As you mentioned, of course, in Hadith, a thousand, three thousand names uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, which 99 names plus has been mentioned in the Holy Quran, and of course, uh, many, many in the, in the uh, Bible and, and, and the Old Testament and all. Allah knows best. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, it's very important to know God, to understand God, a caring God, a merciful God, which we know. We should go follow. All of us. Doesn't matter you're a Muslim or non-Muslim. Doesn't matter you're believer or non-believer. Just believe in the Almighty God. Only. Believe in the Almighty God. I'm not saying go follow any religions. I said believe in the Almighty God. Is good enough for you and for us to take this virus away. My brothers and sisters, Jazakumullah khair, may Allah bless you for listening to that. Of course, it's a very important, very important. Uh, we, we go to the mosque, go to the churches, go to the synagogues and all. And, and of course, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty God, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh, and all, to, of course, these are his beautiful names. These are all his beautiful names which they have. Therefore, uh, tomorrow, inshallah, at uh, 12.30, 
we are going to be in the facebook.com forward slash imam.oxford.5 inshallah we see you all there and please share this message is very important and of course again say go to almighty god ask for forgiveness and he will take it away we all should go do that and I'll go follow the government's advice whatever they say to save life and uh, to help NHS. May Allah bless you all and has you in paradise and keep you safe and happy. Amen. Amen. Amen.